All right, so welcome back to the follow-up video to the PJ tilt trailer video where we will be talking about the new to me PJ duckover trailer. So here at the lot, um, we're getting geared up to do post frame building. So I need the forks, the man basket, the auger with the 18 inch bit and my bucket. So we're gonna see if we can cram all that onto this trailer and close it up. If so, we'll have one more attachment than what we could fit previously on the tilt trailer. So let's get it loaded up. All right, so I didn't really want to talk over my truck, but it's been sitting here because everyone in town has been running up to me asking why I'm trying to get work started and not hanging out with my baby, which I'm trying to do both. So uh, let's walk around real quick and uh, I'll show you what I got going on here. It looks like I need to fill up both the tires just a little bit, but that's all right. So uh, I got the talk back on. You see that in the time lapse. And then I flipped the ramps and set the edge of the bucket on the ramps here um, so that I keep my weight mostly over my axles here. Uh, I got the auger on, this is the 18. I'm hoping we don't need any 24 inch holes. If we do, I gotta go run and buy a 24 inch auger. So that sucks. And then I also put the forks up front and kind of wrapped the chain around them to keep that up against the rubber rail in front. Uh, so this to me is a win. Uh, before with the tilt deck, um, having six foot of stationary on the front wasn't quite enough to get the basket on and then put the auger next to it so we had to either fumble with putting the auger in the basket on the front or um, trying to stuff a bucket in the basket and then leaving the auger on and backing the skid loader on and just letting the auger run right to the edge of the trailer so uh, definitely a little bit nicer as far as getting all of my stuff on here uh, if we got to do a 24 inch auger too, I'll probably just put it next to them and strap them together. Um, so, so far so good. Uh, what else can I say? Definitely not used to the, to the big ramps yet. Um, they're really light and easy to throw. Uh, the issue that I'm not used to is I'm definitely not used to uh, backing on and off of the trailer. Um, having the counterweight and nothing on the front of it when I put that basket on definitely felt a little sketchy coming off but uh i didn't roll the machine over so i guess that's something right um but yeah other than that not too bad so i think this will work out pretty decent um i guess in this regard a deck over tilt trailer would actually probably be somewhat of a pain in the ass because you would have the thing tilted and you would have to probably chain that onto the front of it and then retilt the trailer to get the other i don't know it might not work honestly so i think futurely i'll probably keep this rig around and uh if i ever want to upgrade it i'll probably upgrade it to something that still has the monster ramps or whatever you know max ramps i think is what diamond c calls them mega ramps by big techs they all have a name so but yeah that's that so overall pretty happy with uh with the trade i think that it'll make my life a little easier and i can still move my equipment all in one run so that to me looks like a win all right that's the uh first preview i'll come back and talk about the trailer in another video when we get some bunks of material loaded on it and talk about how easy that was all right take her easy we're signing off